American Paul Whelan has spent this holiday season placing phone calls to news outlets to say he feels, quote, abandoned, unquote, by the United States. Whelan has been imprisoned in Russia for five years on espionage charges. CBS's Nicole Skanga reports on the former Marine turned political prisoner. It was the eve of Paul Whelan's fifth Christmas behind bars in Russia when this call came through to a reporter at WTOP, a Washington, D.C. radio station. I feel alone. I feel that I've been left behind. A desperate plea from the 53-year-old ex-Marine and a direct appeal to President Biden following the release of Americans Trevor Reed and Brittany Griner from Russia last year. He's the guy that made the decision to leave me behind twice. He's the man that can bring me home. Whelan was first detained by Russian authorities in December 2018, then ultimately convicted of espionage and sentenced to 16 years of hard labor. Both Whelan and the U.S. government have dismissed the charges as baseless. Whelan remains in a penal colony in the remote Russian province of Mordovia. Also detained in Russia, 32-year-old Evan Gerskovich, an American reporter for The Wall Street Journal, held for nearly nine months in pretrial detention on espionage charges that he, his newspaper, and the U.S. government strongly reject. We uh, will leave no stone unturned to see if we can't find uh, the right way to get them home. Earlier this month, the State Department said the U.S. made a new and significant proposal to Russia for Whelan and Gerskovich's release, but Moscow declined. Mr. President, you promised to bring me home. I'm still here. There has to be more that you can do to secure my release. A White House spokesperson tells CBS News that the Biden administration will continue to make significant offers for both men's freedom and remains in conversations with other countries to try and secure their release. Major. Nicole Skanga, thank you so very much.